Hello and welcome finally to my Let's Play Skyrim. And for those of you who weren't aware, I have abandoned the vampire playthrough for the moment. Well, the playthrough itself is abandoned, but I may be revisiting vampire itself once we get to Dawnguard on this character. And for those of you who weren't aware, I recently held a poll as to what type of character I was going to play. The overwhelming winner was an unarmored mage type character. Oddly enough, the one I was least comfortable with, but hey, I'm willing to give it a shot. Oddly enough, I think that uh, telling people that it was my least comfortable option was probably what made people want to choose it, but that's neither here nor there. It was chosen, so that's what we'll go with. Uh, on to the mod setup. I have Lexi's Guide installed, of course, and I've added a few, some of which may already or may be getting implemented into the guide itself at some point soon. Um, here's a mod called Legacy of the Dragonborn Relic Notification or something like that. Basically, it gives you a pop-up. Uh, notification when you pick up something that can go into the museum or you can have it set to be a notification in the corner of your screen that's the way I, I opted to do it because the pop-up would probably get annoying very quickly um, I also installed Dear Diary which gives um, a paper look to a lot of the UI elements like the inventory makes it look like you're reading a book instead of you know just a clear screen uh, let's see. Things like that. Even the map. Um, so yeah, there's that. I've also installed a mod called Reading is Good, which changes skill books to, instead of giving you a skill point, it uh, gives you a permanent bonus to the uh, amount of XP you get in that skill for doing things in that skill, like lock picking. If you read a lock picking book, you get a permanent bonus to uh, lock picking XP when you pick locks. Um, I believe they stack. I don't know how many times they'll stack, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. I also got the Predator Vision uh, bug fix, to where it won't, or where you, it won't start the Predator Predator Vision quests which control whether you can do um, Predator Vision until after you leave the alternate start cell. If you weren't aware, there is a bug that occasionally using alternate start, Predator Vision won't activate. Um, and you usually don't find that out until you get out into the real world and try it, and it fails. Which is what happened to one of my characters. So I have the fix now. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Ooh. I re-added Winter Sun, and I'll explain why for that later, but just know that it is back in the load order. Uh, I installed, I want to say Skyrim Save System Overhaul, which basically gives you gives me an autosave. I have it currently set to autosave every 10 minutes for those times where I go an entire session without saving and then die saves me from rage quitting. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Oh, uh, combat gameplay overhaul. Um, it does a lot of things. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, my character is a female this time. Uh, originally I decided on a female because there's a few armor sets in the game that are female specific. That I never really get to use, and then ironically, un yeah, ironically, I became an unarmored mage, so I'll probably never get to use them. But is what it is. I'll probably try them on at least at some point. Um, let me stop that spinning. Let's see. Oh yes, combat gameplay overhaul. It's an animation mod. Um, it's easier to show it to you in third person, but like you notice how the character leans when they're moving gives a little bit of momentum to their uh, to their movement um, it has a dodge 
mechanic uh, built in, but I have it disabled because it's a dodge roll, and I play in first person. And with this mod, when you do the dodge roll, your character actually, or your camera actually rolls with your character, and it's kind of jarring. So yeah, if I played in third person, I'd probably leave it enabled, but I don't really like third person. Unless I'm using a controller, but anyway. Um, it does a couple of other things. It lets you, it has a hotkey that you can configure that will let you um, change your grip on weapons. For example, you can make a two-handed weapon a one-handed weapon for less damage. Um, you can make a one-handed weapon a two-handed weapon for increased damage. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's see. And the benefit of that, basically, you know, if you're a two-handed war warrior, you can tap the hotkey, switch to a one-handed grip, and then put a spell in your offhand to fire off a quick spell, and then switch back without having to unequip and re-equip your weapon. Things like that. Um, or if you just want to play one of those uh, anime-style characters who wields a really giant sword in one hand, you can do that too. Um, but yeah. There are a few other benefits to it, like... Um, you know how when you do a, power, a forward power attack, you're like locked into an animation that moves you several feet forward. With this you can um, stop in, mid in the middle of the animation so you can hit something and not go past it. Um, see if I can see if I can demonstrate that. Yeah, see. Normally it would have kept going a little bit before the punch. Anyway, most of that won't really apply to this character because as I said, this is going to be a mage character. Or, I think I said that. Yeah. An armored mage character won the poll, so that is what we will be going with. This is her. Her name is Talia. Um, but yeah. I don't think there were any other mods I added. But if I think of any, I will be sure to mention them. Alright, now as to where we are going to start. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Actually, not sure. Oh, I did disable the uh, mod that had the extra um, alternate starts. I only had it in for the vampire start, and I don't really need it for the rest of it, so. Um. I could do the um, arrive on ship and go to Solitude to start the uh, museum quest right away. I really want to get to the Atronach Stone as early as possible. And I think the easiest way to do that is... Um, Which inn are you a patron of? Hmm. 
Apologies in advance for my dog. I only have a vague idea of where the um, astronaut stone is. Pretty sure it's between Riften and Windhelm. I was hoping there was a uh, dark water crossing option, but I didn't think there would be. I couldn't remember if there was an in there or not. Um, I wish I could get there quicker too, but. Decisions, decisions, and I'm taking entirely too long to make this one. You know what? Let's start in Riften. That will give me an opportunity the to, among us can rise um, to, greatness. to pick up Inigo. Seeing as I'm a mage, I probably need a uh, friend along. I forgot to mute my phone. Let's fix that now while we are in the loading screen. There we go. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. All right. And we have our first level. Uh, choose an attribute to advance. For the first time probably ever, I am not choosing health as my first option. I probably will put some points into health at some point. Otherwise, I'll be an extremely squishy mage. Alright, um. Hmm. Trying to decide where I should put my points. Oh, if it wasn't obvious from the uh, um, appearance of the character, I am a Breton. Um, I considered going with Dunmer again. I did kind of like the Whispers thing, except for the fact that it would occasionally place the target like 10 miles away. Um, but in the end, I decided to go for Breton. It just felt more of like a uh, well-rounded mage. Dunmer make really good destruction mages, and that was another option that I was considering, but in the end I liked the um, the benefits of Breton more for a mage. Um, let's see, what do I start off with? Absolutely nothing, except for some food. Oh, I do have um, realistic needs and diseases enabled because of the because uh, it was added to the guide recently. So I do actually need to pay attention to food and um, um, food and water. I can think for a second. And I probably need to sleep every so now and then. Um, lost my train of thought again. Alright, let's go find Inigo.
also need to make some money fairly quickly if I want to um, purchase some spells. Hey, wait. I didn't get a Winter Sun D&D uh, option thing. Maybe it'll pop up here. Yeah, here we go. Maybe I had to wait for you to go outside, I guess. Okay. As a Breton, I have the option of choosing some of the um, Elven Pantheon. I think it's the Elven Pantheon. Um, and I'm going with Magnus. That will do... Um, interesting things for us. Let's put it that way. Spells cost less magicka, but magicka only regenerates while praying. It's a fairly significant um, spell reduction cost, and once I get the Atronach Stone, magicka shouldn't be too much of an issue. It will be until I get to the Atronach Stone, which is why I'm heading there first thing. Uh, no scaling. Tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the full fee. Let's go ahead and favorite that. Uh, favorite that in case I need to find a dead body. Go ahead and get the uh, I know I prayer out of the I way. I wish I know the shipment would get robbed. Next time, keep your plans quiet, and nothing would have happened to you. ingredients. What? are you doing this to me? What's the last one Okay, this is a little mini game for um, practice for praying to Magnus. Uh, I've never done this before, but I've read a little bit about it, so let's see. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is worth it. Okay, I see what I see the mini game. If your allegiance lies with the Empire, we haven't much to discuss. Sure. Okay, you've successfully cast six spells. The caravan Khajiit think the guard races, but they simply haven't paid the gate fee. That is how Riften works. Buy some fresh meats and burgers. Get them before they're gone. Learn a library's worth of knowledge in moments, or draw back that okay. missing. Hopefully next time I pray that'll go a little easier. Never done that before, so it was a little learning process. Uh, let's see, we need to go to the jail. Um, before I there do... There is a special today on everything. You must buy it to get it. Don't miss out. Purchase a bottle of my... New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Thank you. Maybe that'll give me enough, uh... Speech check to get through the guard. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from the realm.
Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Oh, my mistake then. Cool. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Thank you. Some clothes on. Come to kill me at the last, have you? Thank the gods. I can bear the guilt no longer. Excuse me? I know I must die. Beware, though. My newfound honor demands I defend myself. I am in no mood for jokes. Strike me down. Take your revenge. You don't remember? Uh, that is my fault also. I am your so-called friend, Inigo. I was the one who killed you. I tried anyway. I am guilty. Kill me. After I shot you, I finally realized my mistake and tried to turn myself in. Your body was gone. The guards did not believe me. I wonder they why. They said I was wasting their time. I had to pay them to put me in this cell. It is where I belong. I needed to repent. I need to repent. You are the person I remember. I would recognize your smell anywhere. I fight with you. Yeah. Or die defending you. Yes, I accept. I feel lighter in my heart now you have given me this. Do not joke about such things, my friend. The sadness I feel for what I have done is brutal enough. For now. If you notice, there was a notification when I picked up that ship. But not for that loot. So obviously there's not a place for a loot. Uh, yeah, no. Speak to me. Okay, let us see what we have. What's next? Thank God. Uh, let's see. Uh, next is let's get out of here. Let us put. Just in case. Let's get out of Rift. Although, looking to stay alive, why take a chance? 
No matter the weather, Riften always smells lovely. It is a good place to start a new adventure. I agree. Riften Market is not as well equipped as the surrounding shops, but I do like the hustle and the bustle. Interesting. Okay, let us get back to it. I'm tempted to start the Thieves Guild. Um, just for some quick starting cash. Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over here. Protect yourself, right? Buy armor. There is a special today on everything. You must buy it to get it. Don't miss out. Purchase a bubble of Actually, I'm not sure if I can. We do have a mod called Thieves Guild Requirements, and I think you actually have to have stolen some stuff and have your sneak skills at a certain point. Yes, Lance. What did you need? <laughs> I wonder if there's a uh, place in the museum for an elixir. Only 20 gold septums. Hurry, before my supply is gone. Buying and selling, buying jewels. All right, let's just get out of here for now. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Yeah? Well, I got news for it. Last thing the Black Briars need is some st The Black Briar... Me? I'm Maul. I watch the... Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? You kidding? I used to run with... If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Okay. I do want to do alchemy on this character, but I don't want to spend forever running around town looking for, um... Fine! If you won't listen to me, I'll find... Um, looking for, uh, ingredients right now. I just remember there's a bandit fort in the middle of the road to where I'm going. And I'm definitely too squishy for bandits right now, so try and avoid them as best I can. Actually, how much money do I have? 188 gold. Yes? Where do you want to go? Since I'm already in the rift, it probably won't give me a option for Darkwater Crossing. Or is, it, or is Darkwater Crossing, Crossing in the rift? Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Not this point. Mm -hmm. Need something? Where do you want to go? Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Darkwater Climb Crossing. Climb back, and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. Close the local map. Oh, 
like I said, I only have a vague recollection of where we're going. I want to say it's over here somewhere. And let's bring up the compass. time for ingredients, but I always have time for wheat. in the museum for it. confusing place. We are bound to lose each other from time to time. Never fear. That map... Let me show you. My brother once found one. It does not only mark locate. Where are you? There! See? I have placed myself on your map. If we find ourselves separated, all you need to do is look me up. Pretty fantastic, eh? No problem. I am always happy to help. All set? Yep. Let's get moving. Oh, actually, no. Uh huh. Try not to burn anything useful with those magical hands of yours. I won't. I'm very good with them. Uh, let's see. Give you the shield. That's better than what you were wailing, but you know. Go. Let's go. Okay. Let us get back to it. <coughs> oh, and journal. Turn that off for now. This is what I was looking for. I had my uh, marker set wrong, but hey. We found it. Nobody noticed that. Alright. Magicka only regenerates when I kill something. Well, it doesn't regenerate then, it just gives me more Magicka when I kill something. But, my spell cost is significantly re reduced. I don't know if it, is, if it shows how much. Hang on. Every death within 50 feet restores Magicka equal to 20 times their level. Uh, Stone. The caster has Magicka remaining. Spells are 25% more effective and cost 50% less Magicka. Okay.
Spells cost 30% less magicka on top of the 50%, but the Breton takes 20% more damage from attacks while casting. So put all of that together and my spells shouldn't cost... I'll see you there, look. Cost zero. Okay, it does cost something. You can see it's ticking down slowly, but... feeling cocky right now. Goblin stuff doesn't, um... have a place in the museum either. I think I need a little rest. I am in pain. Yes, but you're healing quickly, so... was my last auto save. Looks like it was after I talked to what's his Fine. name, but uh, if you won't before listen I listen to me, I'll find I'm someone who will. Where do you want to go? Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? <coughs> Climbing back, and we'll be off. Just sit back. This won't take long.
I don't know if I'll get attacked by those same bandits, because I'm pretty sure that was a random thing, but just in case. I've got what I came for. Part of me wants to spend some time exploring, like going over there, back down there. But, I'm going to do the sensible thing. How much money do I have left? Not a lot. Alright. What time is it? Alright, I think it's been enough for one episode, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here. Off camera, I'm going to run around Riften and loot all of the ingredients. The next episode, I will find an alchemy bench and attempt to use as many of those ingredients as possible to make some potions to sell for some early cash. Probably won't be a lot because I know Keiko nerfs a lot of the um, value potions, but we'll see what we can come up with. I will see you then.